do you know you're aligned? Oh, because we only do what someone asks us to do. We take orders. And we just say yes. And what's the assumption there? The people are correct. The people are correct that they're, what they're ever saying yes to is the highest priority in their CEO's mind, even though it's not the CEO's asking. It's department heads, it's people throughout the organization. They're saying yes to everything. But they're assuming that above them, all the leaders are organized and aligned to what's important to the CEO. Almost certainly never the case. We are aligned to HR goals. Oh, okay. We just talked to the head of HR and, and we support HR. Does that mean you are aligned to the business goals? Is it ever the case that HR is not aligned to the business goals? Yes. So that strategy would only work if HR is perfectly aligned to the business goals, which it almost never is. We can connect everything we do to some organizational goal. I can backwards map between any program I have to some goal. That must prove it, mustn't it? I'm aligned. I'm 100% aligned. Well, as we've talked about, a clever person can draw a line between any program and some goal. That really proves nothing. My CEO, CFO, head of HR are happy with what we're doing. So there's no issue. Well, sometimes they just don't know any better. They themselves don't have a good sense of alignment. Everyone is happy with what we're doing. Everyone loves us. I get this a lot. Dave, there isn't a problem. Everyone loves us. That doesn't mean you're aligned. They would love you even better if you were aligned better to the goals of the organization. We win awards. We even win awards for alignment. I have proof, Dave, because we won the award for alignment. What does that rest on? Is that rock solid proof that they are aligned? What does that depend on? It depends on the judges and, unfortunately, a little truth here. Most organizations, and I, I'm a judge, organizations don't like to have no winners. Have you ever gone to an award ceremony and the organization like ATD or CLO Magazine had the guts to stand up and say, this year we are not awarding the gold or silver to anybody because our judges were not satisfied with any of the applications. Have you ever heard that happen? No. no. It is understood that we are going to award. And the judge's instructions are just give me the best two. And I've gone back and said, they're all terrible. No one is doing it. Dave, give me the best two. But they're, they didn't even meet minimum report. No. We're giving out an award. What if there were only two submissions? One's going to get gold, and one's going to get silver. So, so that doesn't prove anything. You're on, you're on the ATD board? I was. You were, you were choosing the ATD winner? No, the board members didn't in that case. Oh, okay. That wasn't one of our responsibilities on the ATD board. We develop people. Oh, here's the one I really like. We develop people, and people are responsible for accomplishing the organization's goals. Therefore, we are aligned. I have heard that repeatedly. The ultimate fallback. These people don't get it. This is not what we're talking about. These are such low standards, it's mind-boggling. So we want a bit higher standard here. Piggy, 